of intellectual property and how they are applied to 3D printing. The same legal principles, but our strategy as to how we apply it to 3D printing uh, has to change a little bit. In the medical field in particular, where it comes to 3D printing, it's a little more regulated than, than maybe some of the other fields of 3D printing because that would be unregulated. Just because they are medical devices, you are using it in pharmaceuticals and using it for, you know, replacing whole legs or, you know, a prosthetic that somebody would then use. And so all of that is, is getting regulated by the FDA. You've got a technology that allows advancements at a great speed, but doesn't necessarily allow for the protections that have been built into manufacturing before to catch up to it. They can just simply take a 3D scan of that product and if they have the right printer they can print the product uh, and that's the concern right now. 3D printing is a, a fantastic opportunity for our manufacturing clients and for manufacturers across the world. The only thing that they really need to know is is that they can succeed with that, they can continue to do great things, but they need to be creative and vigilant about the legal protections that apply to the old way of manufacturing and integrating them into these new processes.